What is up, everybody? It's your first TV today, and I want to focus talking about Se uh, Sega presentation at the Game Awards. Their so-called new era, new energy, and I show off several uh, new installments or remakes or remasters of their classic catalog, going back to like Jet Set Radio, Shinobi, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, and Crazy Taxi. They showed off several different like remasters of those at the Game Awards. Let me try to fast forward a little bit so you can see it, but. This is one of the biggest highlights for me at the Game Awards. Like these classic games being made with a fresh coat of paint, that is pretty cool. If you see some, if you hear some noise in the background, they're doing construction outside, so that's what that noise is. But I was definitely impressed by seeing this. A lot of classic games that I grew up playing as a kid on Sega Genesis are now coming back with a new fresh coat of paint. So this is pretty cool. Sega is trying to get back their mojo that they had during the Genesis and Dreamcast era, which I love Sega. I love Sega back during the Genesis uh, days. So. Glad they're coming back to it. They have been doing pretty good with the Persona games. Persona, Yakuza games as well. I know Sonic had a slight bit of resurgence, but not as much as popular as like the movies got. I think Sonic got a lot of popularity recently because of the movies, but they've been doing something a little bit with the games as well. But these new, like bringing back Just the Radio Streets of Rage, I'm definitely looking forward to those. So I don't know if they're gonna release those in a one big collection or a least them at different times, but I'm definitely on board with playing Streets of Rage, Crazy Taxi, and Golden Axe, those three for Sip, so Sip and Just a Radio, but this looks pretty impressive, so this is somebody's reaction as well, I thought, which was pretty cool. This guy was watching the Game Wars, and this was his reaction, which I decided, I just thought this was pretty cool to see. <laughs> you can just see the excitement on their faces because a lot of people grew up with these games as kids, man. I, like I said, I grew up with these games as a kid too, like especially like the Golden Axe, Crazy Tags, and Streets of Rage. I remember playing those games on the Sega Genesis, so now seeing them in the modern era is kind of crazy. So I don't blame really? his reaction. I don't blame this guy's reaction. Like, this was definitely insane to see. So, yeah. That's why I'm glad they're doing this. This is such a great move from Sega to do. And hopefully, it pays off because. They're doing some great stuff. Uh, but this is an interview from Sega saying, Sonic's recent success is what inspired them to revive old franchises like Just Air Radio and Crazy Taxi. Sonic is entering its renaissance era and they're trying to introduce old IPs to a new generation. This is such a W. Yeah. So apparently Sonic the Hedgehog is the, is the IP that started this uh, rebirth of Sega. I thought it was them just following what Capcom was doing because Capcom's getting a lot of fame from them reviving their old Resident Evil games. But now, I guess Sega's on their rebirth phase as well, which is a good thing. So, we thought we were in the Sonic Res uh, Renaissance, and Troop were in the Sega, Ren the Sega Renaissance. Okay. It's safe to say that Sonic revived everything from Sega. I mean, Sonic was their mascot, so it's only right that that's the one that kickstarts everything. So, um, yeah, Sega's just been killing it recently. Like, Sega really deserves a roses because they really have been killing it with games. Like, they've released in the Persona 5 Tactica, uh, Persona 5 Royal, the Persona series in general, the Yakuza series, <laughs> releasing so many Yakuza games. They have really been releasing a lot of great stuff, and they aren't really getting the recognition. So, I'm kind of glad they're getting the recognition now because they really deserve it. Um, yeah. Take notes, Capcom. Who am I kidding? They're just going to stick to Resident Evil and Monster Hunter. Yeah, I would kind of love to see other different Capcom games. Like, even Dino Crisis. People want to see Dino Crisis return. It's, it's kind of annoying. They're just only focusing on... Um, they're only focusing on the Resident Evil series. Because Dino Crisis with a fresh new coat of paint, I would definitely buy that day one. Probably more like the... Over, over, I'll probably buy a new Dino Crisis game over Resident Evil game, to be honest. Golden Axe, though, that's what I'm here for. Yeah, I played that game a lot as a kid. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they, the sky is the limit. People want a Billy Hatcher remake. The sky is the limit because they're definitely going back to their old franchise, giving them a fresh coat of paint. So, once again, this is how you do a remake. 
<laughs> so I hope Naughty Dog and PlayStation is paying attention. This is what people want to see for a remake. Not just remaking games that's been like three years old just to get a cheap cash grab. But yeah. This is what we're looking for here. But waited 20 years. That's how old this game is. Jeez. Best in the show. Best shown at the Game Awards. The second greatness is back. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely remember this as a kid right here. I remember playing Crazy Tax in arcades too. Like, they had that whole little uh, arcade get up, arcade machine for this too. So, some classic stuff. Kids nowadays probably won't. Kids nowadays probably even know about these games, which is crazy. <laughs> It's crazy to think about. They don't even know about Streets of Rage or Crazy Taxi or Jet Set Radio. People are just so happy in the comment section. That's what you want to see. A dream. No, I think Sega is good at making just just reviving their old games. I don't think they even need to, need to enter the console market again. I think we got enough compet enough people right now. Um, they look like indie games. Is this guy really trash talking this announcement? Really? I guess you can't please everybody, but I'm going to include it right here. I think this is such a great announcement. It's a good thing that Sega is doing. And hopefully it pays off. People actually support this right here. Because I know I'm going to put my money where my mouth is and buy this collection or whatever they're doing day one. I want to make, make sure I support Sega and their future endeavors with this. Uh, these remasters or remakes or whatever. So definitely want to see your thoughts down below about this. Leave a like, like this video. And as always, thanks for watching and peace.